Chapter 4.3 exercises 25 through 36, and we're going to continue looking at the odd number problems. The next exercise is 25 through 36. Evaluate without using calculator by using ratios in the reference triangle. And here we have the cosine of 120 degrees. And when we say reference triangle, what we do is we go to where 120 degrees is on a unit circle. In the reference triangle, we create by simply drawing a vertical line segment down to the x-axis and we have this here and to make the triangle to fully complete the triangle we draw a hypotenuse from that point right to the origin there we have that in red and so this blue is going to be our sine our our uh, cosine is going to be this value right here along the x-axis and here we're going to have a 60 degree and this would be 30s on top the triangle the reference triangle will be 60 degrees between the x-axis and this hypotenuse whose length is the radius of the circle the unit circle which is one and so the the reference triangle is, if we remember our, our uh, 30, 60, 90 right triangle, okay, that's a, not such a good 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Let me see if I can draw a little better looking one, just a little more accurate. Okay, we'll say that's going to be roughly looking like 30 degrees. Okay, the the ratios, these sides bear to one another. If we have this side here be 30 degrees, this side down here be 60, of course, I agree. And so if we have our hypotenuse, 2x, the short side would be x, and this other side over here would be uh, the, this opposite side of the 60 would be x square root of 3. So using... So using this aspect here, if we say 2x equals 1, well then x, x is going to be equal to 1 over 2. So x equals 1 half. But in this case, we're going the negative direction here. So, we, so our answer is going to be negative 1 half which should be logical both in terms of the triangle itself that we see and is evidenced by this coordinate value here at, at the 120 degree mark. Next, let's go to problem 27, the secant of pi over 3. Well, we have pi over 3 located right here at where 60 degrees is. So our reference our reference triangle we get by drawing the vertical line segment and dropping that to the x-axis. Since this is 60 degrees here, uh, because of the special right triangle, uh, we have secant. What is secant related to? Well, secant is equal to one reciprocal of cosine. So we're, again, we're interested to find secant. This horizontal distance here, which, remember if we have our hypotenuse being 2x equals 1, this here, this has to be 1 half. And the, since the cosine is 1 half, uh, secant of pi over 3 has to be 1 over cosine of pi over 3, which and so secant of pi over 3 is equal to 1, and the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So divided by a fraction of the same as multiplying the triple. So since divided by 1 half, we multiply by 2 over 1. 1 over 1 cancels. So, so the secant of pi over 3, the angle pi over 3, is 2. 
So that's our answer to problem number 27. Our reference triangles. Okay, let's go on to problem 29. A sine of 13 pi over 6. Well, if we look at at the, this uh, unit circle triangle, we do not see pi over 6 anywhere. But 13 pi over 6 is going to be the same as 12 pi over 6 plus pi over 6. And 12 pi over 6 is equal to 2 pi plus pi over 6. So therefore, this tells us 13 pi over 6. We go once all the way around to get to 2 pi and come up with another pi over 6 to come here. And we can see if we, if we follow along here, we have 11 pi over 6, 12 pi over 6. And we'll have 13 pi over 6 that's going to be coterminal. Again, that word coterminal with this pi over 6. And if we drop a reference triangle, we just drop a vertical line segment to the x-axis, it's going to be this triangle here. And we're looking for the sine. <coughs> and remember, when we talk about a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if we have this side here, 2x equals 1, well, this other side here will be x, and x equals 1 half. So, so therefore, the sine of 13 pi over 6 is going to be the same as sine of pi over 6, which equals 1 half. Okay, we're not, so without using a calculator, right? We are not using a calculator. We haven't used a single calculator, have we? Okay, next, problem 31. A tangent of negative. 15 pi over 4. All right, 15 pi over 4. We're going negative. Finding this thing right here, that's going to be the challenge. All right, we have fourths. All right, what are we going to do? To go around, if we have, this would be, if we rotate, in this case, clockwise, Negative pi over 4 would be the same as 7 pi over 4. Negative 2 pi over 4 would be the same as 3 pi over 2. Negative 3 pi over 4 would be the same as 5 pi over 4, and so on. But what happens is, to go all the way around, we get 2 pi, or negative 2 pi. So, so negative 2 pi, if we go all the way around, is going to be the same as negative 8 pi over 4. Right, so if we go all the way around, we've gone negative 8 pi over 4, and uh, let's see, and if we want to go to 15 pi over 4, negative 15 pi over 4, it's going to be equal to negative 8 pi over 4 minus 7 pi over 4. So we went negative 8 pi over 4, went all the way around, we go another negative 7 pi over 4, this would be negative 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6 pi over 4, negative 7 pi over 4 would be the same as pi over 4. And so the tangent, the tangent of this reference uh, triangle here, this would be 45 degrees, we're going to have sine over cosine, so so tangent negative 15 pi over 4 is going to be equal to uh, sine, which is square root of 2 over 2, divided by square root of 2 over 2. And these will cancel out to equal square root of 2 over 2. And dividing by the square root of 2 over 2, that's going to be the same as times 2 over square root of 2. We have cancellations all around. So our answer to this problem is going to be 1. That's problem 31. Next, we go to problem 33. Uh, cosine 23 pi over 6. Again, we're dealing with a fraction. And so we have to look at uh, in 6, in 2 pi, 2 pi is going to be equal to 12 pi over 6. 
and we can separate uh, 23 pi over 6 into uh, 12 pi over 6 plus uh, 23 plus 11 pi over 6. So this angle here, 11 pi over 6, is going to be coterminal, coterminal with 23 pi over 6. And we have, if we have a uh, draw a reference triangle, we're going to have, in this case, a negative 30 degrees. And if we have 2x here, this side over here on the right is going to be uh, half of that with the x. And this one over here on the top will be x square root of 3. In this case, uh, 2x equals 1, right? Since 2x equals 1, x equals 1 half, and x square root of 3 is going to be equal to square root of 3 over 2, which we have as our answer right there. So, so therefore, the cosine of 23 pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, now, problem 35. We have the sine of 11 pi over 3. Well, again, we have to see where we are. Uh, 2 pi. 2 pi is going to be equal to, in thirds, 6 pi over 3. And so uh, 6 pi over 3 plus what equals 11 pi over 3? Well, it's going to be 5 pi over 3. So after having gone around the circle once to get 6 pi over 3, we go another 5 pi over 3 to get to this point on the unit circle here. Over 3 and, and really, or uh, it's really off target. Hard to get these things right. Okay, that's a little better. Looking. So again, dropping the reference angle, dropping straight to the x-axis, we're going to have a reference triangle to be 60 degrees here. In this case, the sine is going to be negative since we're going down. And here we have 2x here for the hypotenuse. x is going to be this. So we have, we, if 2x equals 1, x, or our cosine, is going to be 1 half. And this one over here is going to be 1 x times square root of 3, so it's going to be 1 half times square root of 3, but we're going down, so that's going to be negative, so we're going to have negative square root of 3 over 2. So we can write a concluding statement here that a sine of 11 pi over 3 is going to be equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. And so there it is. We've done all the odd number problems on this set. Good luck to you, and thank you for viewing.